there are 21.7 million active buyers on the Etsy platform who will be willing to purchase your items. Welcome back for another episode with me, Risi Manaig. I'm a wife, mom, entrepreneur who is willing to share my experiences for you to be able to start your own business journey. And today, I'm going to give you four different reasons why you need to start selling on the Etsy platform. But first, I am going to tell you my reasons why I decided to join the Etsy platform. Before Etsy, I was selling on Facebook Marketplace. I have an item listed for $25, but people are keep bargaining it to $20 and even $15 per piece. As a handmade product, it's really hard for me to negotiate this kind of items because I know the value of my work. Just for me, Facebook Market is no place for handmade products. Facebook Market, they always click that it's, is it available product? A lot of people are showing their interest in your product. Spend the time to deal with them and accommodate their questions. And in the end, they are not going to purchase it from you. The time and effort was already wasted, but it didn't end up into a purchase. It's really hard selling to your friends and family. Don't get me wrong. I love my friends and family, but they always ask for discounts and even free stuff. Which leads me to my reason number one. Etsy has its own audience. There are 21.7 million active buyers on the Etsy platform who will be willing to purchase your items. And for reason number two, the setup and the startup cost is really low. It's 20 cents per listing. And you can also get the code for 40 free listings if you are a new seller. You have to maximize this kind of um, offer from Etsy because when I was first doing it, I didn't realize that I could have 40 free listings. I will put a description down below to my link to get the 40 free listings. In comparison to making your own website, it would probably be $35 minimum that you have to spend and then if you are not techy enough to build your own website, then you have to pay someone else to design your website for you. And that will cost another money. I am not discouraging you not to do your own website. If you are techy enough and if you do your research and compare, you will know which one is best if you are a startup. And reason number three, in comparison to Facebook market, there is no bargaining required. If a buyer is interested in your product, they will just go ahead and buy it, which saves you a lot of time. As I mentioned earlier, with Facebook market, they tend to ask a lot of questions. They tend to give them what they wanted to see in their items and then eventually they will ghost you out. But with Etsy, if they're interested, they will purchase it right away. For reason number four, if you don't like taking custom orders, you don't have to. You can set out your listing into the design that you want and you can sell that multiple times. It could sell you get 10, 20, 30, 50 times with the same design, which will save you a lot of time if you are doing it handmade. Because for me, it will take you less time making the same items over and over again compared to having a lots of custom orders. Because being a small business owner, our time is very essential and making something that is shorter in a span of time, which is better for us so that we'll be able to make more and sell more. Those are my four reasons why you should start selling in the Etsy platform. And hopefully you like this episode. Please share and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any requests. Thank you.